So today's video is going to be a fun project. This uh, EB150 came in from a customer. It will not turn on. We think that some of the circuitry is fried. So we're going to open it up, change the entire circuit board, and see if it works. Just to test, we have a uh, couple extra of these lying around, so we're going to see if this can fix the issue, and here we go. The first thing you need to do is take out the six screws from the front, and there's six screws on the back to pop off both back plates. You're going to want to get an Allen key that works for that, so here we go. So I've taken out all the screws, popped off both sides. I'm going to unplug all the circuitry, try to pop off the top so that we can get this in here. Let's just take a look. We have successfully taken off the back plate. I'll be able to snap this back on as soon as we have the new circuitry in. I'm gonna take off the front plate now and do the same. We've now successfully taken off the back plate as well. I'm gonna to try to pop off the top so that I can get at the circuitry, which is right in there. I've used a uh, flathead to pop up the little holders like this. And then I'll be able to unscrew this top handle and take that off. All right, I've unscrewed everything. I'm just able to lift it off. So. These screws up in here are holding the circuitry in, which I'm gonna unscrew one, unscrew two, then there's two on the other side, and undo those, and I should be able to just slide it out. So I've unscrewed the majority of the wires, and this whole piece is able to move now. I have just a few more disconnections to make in the cabling, and then I should be able to slide it out. So, just had a pretty epic fail. Um, I had been busy taking out this side and <laughs> not paying attention. This was actually the side that I needed to take out. So I'm slowly putting this all back together and then I will take this side out and replace it with this. This is becoming a bit of a mess, but I'm getting it done. So about 35 minutes later, it's out. The right side is out. This side that I didn't mean to take out is back in. Here's the fried circuitry board. Here's the new one. So I'm gonna to attempt to put this one back in. However, I need to take off the fan from this one and attach it right here. Here we go. Taking off the fan was super easy. There were just a screw here and a screw here. And I'm placing it on this board and screwing it down with this screw and I just have one more on that side. I've got the new one all lined up properly. And I'm going to slide it in place here and start connecting it together. All right, so I've got it fixed. I can, you can see no more air on this side. All I had to do, I knew I had done something wrong it was this little cord here was up there and I've switched it. No more error. So let's test it here and see if, uh, if this is working. It now turns on. DC turns on and the AC turns on. Now time to put it all back together. Line back up the handle and screw it back in. Now it is time to screw these back on.
put in the finishing touches on it now. Let's just snap back in there. Like this. And it works. Love it. 